with Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. Usaka pagtuo. Usaka tingog. Usaka katawan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live gikan sa NTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Puluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Gibantayan karon sa pag-asa magtan ang laing tropical depression nga musod dinhi sa nasod. Gimpaul Commission dire komendar nga inanay ng pagbalik sa operasyon sa mga buwangan. Mayong ngudto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyo sang puwersa sa CCT News Team. Kami matud kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karon sa detalye sa atong mga balita, laing tropical depression ang gibantayan karon sa nga musod dinhi sa Philippine Area of Responsibility o gipaabot nga mahimo kining bagyo. Kini moay gibutyag sa pango sa pag-asa maptan nga si Engineer Al Kibla nga matud pa niya nga gipaabot nga musod sa nasod ang bagyo nga panganlan unya kini o gruli. Karon ning adlawa base sa ilang forecast nga sa katibukan maayo ang dagan sa panahon karong adlawa apan aduna higayon nga pagpadugdog og kilat ungon man pag-uwan-uwan sa kahapunon duga ni kiblat nga sa gabi eh, posibleng makamugna kini og lubalabay nga kalit nga kusog nga pag-uwan tungod sa localized thunderstorm Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas ang kaso sa dakbayan sa Sugbu kagahapong adlawa adunay 14 kabag-ong kaso sa coronavirus kini base sa report sa Department of Health. Samtang ang bayan sa Mandawi, adunay usa kabag-ong kaso. Ingon man ang bayan sa Lapu-Lapu, usa-usab kabag-ong kaso. Samtang ang lalawigan sa Sugbo, adunay 25 kabag-ong kaso. Negros Oriental, unum. Lalawigan sa Sikihor, unum usab. Samtang ang lalawigan sa Bohol, napu kabag-ong kaso. Sa Kinatibukan, ang Central Visayas, adunay 57 kabag-ong kaso kagahapong Adlawa. Nangaligo sa dagat, sa syudad o kalungsuran sa Laluigan sa Sugbo, wa na kinahanglan na nga magsulob og face mask o gwa kinikalapasan nga nahimo base sa executive order nga giluataan ni Governor Gwendolyn Garcia. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Chris Ligan. Giklaro ni Gobernador Gwendolyn Garcia nga way kalapasan nga mahimo ang bisan 15 nga maligo sa dagat suod sa kadagatan sa Laluigan sa Sugbo, bisan ugdi kini magsulob og face mask. Gipanay kinis gobernador nunod sa negawa sa post sa social media nga nanaway sa giingong mga turista nga nangaligog dagat sa lungsod sa Santa Fe sa isla sa Bantayan nga wa magsulob og face mask matod sa gobernador nga way kalapasan sa giluwatan nga executive order ang di pagsulob og face mask samtang maligo sa dagat ilabi na nga anaa kini magpuyo sa lugar nga gikaliguan We are finding out that salt water and sea air have beneficial effects. Kung ikaw di ay mo adtukas dagat kay gusto ka mo hanggap sa hangin nga mo ay makatabang nimo. Pasul ubon gyud po nimo bas. Gibutang sab sa gobernador nga dili mga turista gikan sa mang lugar ang gipagawas sa social media nga nangaligo og dagat nga wa mag mask sa lungsod sa Santa Fe. Matod sa gobernador nga iya nang nahinabi si Mayor Itamar Espinosa sa Santa Fe og di tinuod nga dunay mga turista nga gikan sa mang lugar ang nakasod sa ilang lungsod pud kay wa pa man sila mudawat og booking bisan gablihan na og balik ang kalihukan sa turismo kapina sa simana ang nilabay. Midugang ang gobernador nga ang Santa Fe may istrikto kang mipatuman sa health protocol sa pandemic sa COVID-19 sa Tibog Islas Bantayan. According to Mayor Itamar Espinosa sa Santa Fe, walay turis pa. So di ni matawag og mga turista. 
Matawag hinuni nato sila Gloka. Nasaran nga tanang maturista nga mobisita sa tourist sites sa Sugbo, kinahanglan nga mo-apply online booking portal sa Kapitolyo. Chris Ligan, CCTN News. LTF RB7 mo pa higayon og one stop shop alang sa pag-release og special permit sa mga traditional og jeep de pasayroan nga pabiyahe o na unya pagbalik dinhi sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo ang kasayuran ihatod ni Patch Anthony Inso. Gigatakda nga mo patuman og one stop shop ang Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board kun LTF RB7 sa sunod semana alang sa pag-release og special permit sa mga traditional nga mga jeep ni Pasiruan nga pabiyahe o na unya pagbalik sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo. Hinoon, suma ni LTF RB7 Regional Director Eduardo Montealto Jr. nga ila pang gipaabot ang pagluwat ni Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella og Executive Order kalabot nini. Matod ni Montealto nga gawas sa ahensya mo Salmot Osab sa one stop shop ang Land Transportation office kon LTO o ang Cebu City Transportation Office kon CCTO. So, by the time na i-allow na traditional PUJ, doon ay one-stop shop ng Buhaton biya sa North Reclamation Area Banda Murag sa isolation siguro facility. Kaya dakot-dakot ang lugar. Na na dito ang LTO, maganda ko road work finish. Na dito ang CCTO para mahatagan sila ang travel line, permit. Then naapod mi, kami may muhatag og special permit. Kahit nung duman nga ang Cebu City Government o nanang ni Umol sa Jeepney Task Force, din moabot na sa 15 ka mga rota sa Jeep ang ilang na-identify. Hinoon, kada semana muhimog assessment ang Task Force aron sa pagtino kung doon na pa ba yung ubang rota nga kinahanglan nilang buksan. 15 routes na diyan po, Director. O 15 routes ang una, pero every week or every uh, two weeks na evaluation kung unsa nga mga ruta nga i-open na po o kung sa po nga mga ruta nga punan ang units. Itugang ni Monte Alto nga matag jeep ni Pasiruan ang itugutan lang nga makasakay o 70% nga na sa 80% sa capacity sa ilang mga pasahero. Kini aron pa dayong gihapon nga mapatuman ang social distancing sud sa mga jeep ni Pasiruan. Fatch and Thinny in so CCTN News. Girekomendar sa Game Paul Commission nga to kang Mayor Edgardo Labilla nga inanay ang pagbalik sa operasyon sa mga lisensyadong buwangan sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo. Kini subay sa resolusyon nga gipasar ni Cebu City Game Paul Commission nga gipanguluhan ni Council Raymond Garcia kagahapon ni Adlaw. Aduna ay mga landa og mga health protocol nga gikinahanglang sundon sa mga sabungero sa ilang pagsud unya sa buwangan. Apil sa lagda mao nga way masyadahay apan mahimo kining ipaagi ang sinyas sa pagpusta usa sa mga buwangan nga di magpasuod kun way imbitasyon subay usab sa gimbutan sa interagency task force nga way live audience kun di mananaw sa mga sabong kini nagkahulugan nga kadto lang dunay da nga mga manok igtatari ang mahimong pasudlon sa mga lisensyadong buwangan FRB7 mo patawag o gahiring tali sa management sa series bus o sa ambulansya sa Chongwa Hospital nga nagkabangga din adunay namatay o gado na osay mga nangaangol ang kasayuran iatod ni Patch Anthony Inso. Mupatawag og hearing ang Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board kon LTFRB7 batok sa Valya Car Transit karong Nobyembre 3 kalabot sa nahitabong panagbangga sa series bus o ambulansya sa Chongwa Hospital na itong adlaw nga Domingo sa General Maximum Avenue iskina Dan J. De Vera sa Barangay Kareta dakbayan sa Sugbo. Nasairan nga among insidente ni Kalas Gyud sa kinabuhi sa konduktor sa bus nga si Lyoric Sumalinog human kini nalagpot sa karsada at sa aksidente. Baton ni LTFRB7 Regional Director Eduardo Montalto Jr. nga ni issue na sab ang ahensya og Shukos order batok sa management sa series bus o gisuspenso na sab nila sud sa 30 ka adlaw sa pagbiyahe ang naaksidente nga bus unit iyang gitugan nga human sa insidente daling ni padala og suwat kaniya ang Valyacar Transit aron sa pag-explicar sa maong hitabo dili pa hinuon makasulti si Montalto kon unsa ang silot nga posibleng mapahamtang nila sa management sa series bus apan mahimong masuspenso o kansilahon ang prangkisa nini hindi, siya ang mga alam ka na mo ng suspension 
pwede po ng cancellation. Cancellation sa ilang franchise o? Sa ilang franchise. Pero kanang particular nga kung nakaroon kayo. Tungkol sa consolidated naman ta, isa ka franchise nila, naay 200 ka buo, kayong huro, tungkol kayong dagan. <laughs> Samtang posibleng ipatawag usab sa ahensya ang management sa Chongwa Hospital aron mahatag usab sa ilang habig sa insidente apan iyang giangkon nga dili ubos sa ilang jurisdiksyon ang mga pribado nga mga sakyanan sa manalang sa ambulansya sa Chongwa giangkon usab ni Montialto nga kun duna gani ambulansya nga nagwangwang kinahanglan nga mohatag yud og right of way ang ubang sakyanan tungod kay nagpasabot kini nga dunay emerensiya o pasyente nga nanginahanglan og dinali ang medikal nga atensyon Hindi, ang mga ipatawag, ang katupang kuwan, katupang uh, series kay wala mga may jurisdiction sa mga private. Ang ilang liability, ang matanaw, nagun sa ilang kuwan. Nasairan nga sa kasamtangan at tuana sa kustodiya sa kapulisan ang driver sa series bus, din kasamtangan kining naka-hospital arrest. Fatch and Finny in so CCTN News. Maukan to atong mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngang sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang ihang atong Sairi 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat.
live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Co on Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We are getting closer to All Souls and All Saints Day celebration. So in this Mass, let us include to pray for the eternal repose of the souls of the faithful departed. Brethren, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, O oh, the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity. Make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, draw your strength from the Lord and from his mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God, that you may be able to resist on the evil day, and having done everything, to hold your ground. So stand fast with your loins girded in truth, clothed with righteousness as a breastplate, and your feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and supplication, pray at every opportunity in the Spirit. To that end, be watchful with all perseverance and supplication for all the holy ones, and also for me, that speech may be given me to open my mouth, 
to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, so that I may have the courage to speak as I must. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the in string lyre I will chant your praise you will give victory to kings and deliver David your servant from the evil sword blessed be The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area, because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform healings today and tomorrow. And on the third day, I accomplished my purpose. Yet I must continue in my way today, tomorrow, and the following day. For it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets and stoned those sent to you, how many times... I yearn to gather your children together 
as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. But you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned. But I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. As I said earlier, uh, we are getting closer to our All Souls Day, All Saints Day celebration. And this year's celebration is something different. We are prohibited from visiting cemeteries. And I think yesterday was the last day. So in this Mass, we include to pray for the eternal repose of the souls of the faithful departed. And let us be reminded that All Souls and All Saints Day celebrations are celebrations of life, not death. I want to say it again. They are celebrations of life, not death. It's life we celebrate, not death. We Christians, we believers, we do not celebrate death. We only celebrate life. It's life we celebrate. In the gospel just read, there was threat to the life of Jesus. He was told, go away, Herod wants to kill you. There was threat to his life. How, res how he responded? He said, I must follow, fulfill the Father's will for me. Today, tomorrow, and the coming days. Death comes. It's how much I do God's will today. You know, this is a beautiful reminder. There's always threat to our lives. Death is just around the corner. It's not about threat to life when it comes to violence. That is one. It's not about threat to life when it comes to accidents. That is another. But we know from the very start that death comes. Death is inevitable. Death comes. But we do not live every day of our lives preparing for death. We live every day our, of our lives preparing to enter heaven. We should live every day of our lives preparing to live forever. That's what we are living for. Death? Yes, death comes. But how much we have lived today? You know, there are many expressions to this in our ordinary experience. I know you have this. I know you could feel this. Just imagine what you hear when there is a wake, a vigil. You go there. When you get there, you hear this. You hear this often. Uh, just, imagine, just imagine this. You would go there to condole, to extend condolences. And then when you get there, you ask, the concerned family, how the person died, the details of his or her death. And after he or she or whoever is that member of the family, after he or she narrated to you how the person died, another person comes in asking the same question, how the person died. Just imagine, you go to the wake, how many people get there? They ask the same question how the person died. I wonder how it feels to the bereaved family. Recalling, saying, retelling the same answer. He died in this manner. She died in this way. That is how he, she died. I don't know if we do what must supposed to be done. Not how the person died, how. He or she has lived. We do not ask that often because we are not used to celebrating life. We celebrate life, not death. I believe you hear this also. You get to the wake, then someone, a relative, comes in crying, crying very hard, even shouting and say, 
Uy, si Kuan, wag yun, nakapaabot na ako. Wag yun, nakapaabot. Laliman ka, ang namatay, pa ipasangin lang. Dugaram ko na lang napaabot, wag yun ni uli. Grabe sab. Because we are not used to celebrating life. How about this? One last thing. And I believe this gets to you. This gets to our nerves. When one dies, we are at the city, and we are from a place away from the city, and our loved ones, dear ones, the old uh, people, members of the family are there, living their retirement years. And then, when we extend our communication through the internet, over the phone, or whatever there is available, we say, how is my Lolo, my Lola, how are you? And then they say, we are fine. Only we are getting older. And there are also already signs of aging. Uh, we cannot longer see clearly. We cannot hear clear. Okay. Then we, from here, we say, extend my regards to them. Extend my regards. And then when we get the announcement, your Lolo, your Lola, your auntie died just very recently. We cry. And then that very day, we file for absence at the office because we want to get home to take care of the dead. You get home to meet the dead. Why can't you get home to visit the living? What has happened to us? Why you get home to celebrate death? And you are not getting home often to celebrate life. You know, to tell you honestly, I am one of those persons happy of what is happening. Uh, we are prevented from going to cemeteries, this all souls and all saints. Because to me, this is one message. We should not get to cemeteries these days. We should get home and visit the living. This all souls and all saints. We are prevented from going to cemeteries. But please, do not fail to go home and visit those still not in cemeteries, but alive. Hug them. Kiss them. Celebrate life, not death. This is the best time. Do not worry. We are prevented from going to cemeteries. Okay, it's fine. Go home. Visit the living. Visit your loved ones. Bring those biscuits, not only for wake. Bring those sachet of uh, drinks, not only for the vigil. This time, celebrate, drink them together with those still alive. Let us celebrate life, not death. Aware of our mission in the world to be prophets of God's merciful love, let us pray to our Father to make us faithful and courageous in our task. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, through its leaders, may be faithful to her prophetic task of pointing out to the peoples of our time the values of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That contradiction and opposition may not discourage or embitter those who work for a better world, but that love may inspire them to move on. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may receive God's word willingly, even if it is demands much from us or upsets us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who care for the sick may never get tired of caring and treating them with personal attention and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the healing grace of God may purify those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask, Lord. Listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, in the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. So do they know salvation? Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. You were through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death, manifest the resurrection and so with angels and all the saints we declare your glory with one voice we acclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. Send down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, to drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mm -hmm. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in all our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
let us pray. May your sacraments, Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, true Christ, our Lord. Horacio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for the disease to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all, to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus, to save it from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, the Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, St. Raphael, the Archangel, St. Rock, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Pedro Calungsud. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Co on Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines. With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. Yes. 
Cebu Television Network Incorporated offers fiber to the home, broadband internet, bundled with fiber to the home, cable TV connection. Cine Cebu Television Network Incorporated with its operation in Metro Cebu and the whole province of Cebu soon. Cine Cebu, Cine Cebu for your internet connection. So fast and swift, the transmission to your home. Sydney Cebu, Sydney Cebu, offers you to have fiber optics. For your viewing experience, perfect and clear so far. So great and affordable for you to enjoy. Come 2021, the Philippines.